Good morning. I'm James Adams, and I have to say, hey, howdy to you. How are you doing? Today we're talking about whole house surge protectors. And uh, if you live in any areas in the country that you have lightning storms or really horrible utility power, um, you're going to have to deal with power outages, surges, and spikes. You may know some people, or maybe it's happened to you, that you've lost utilities or computers or home theater equipment because of something going wrong with your power that's coming into your house. And so surge protectors are one of your lines of defense to sort of limit the possibility of damage. So right out of the gate, I want to tell you that a surge protector or any electronic device will not be 100% uh, safe against things like lightning. When we talk about lightning, we're talking about God territory. The amount of power that is potentially released into your house from a lightning strike, who knows? Um, so just limitations there, expectations. It helps, but it's, it's not a guarantee. So the, the threat, and we already mentioned this, uh, to power coming into your house or from surges originating inside your house are gonna be lightning, spikes, and surges. Uh, lightning, a um, little bit of research I've done, those lightning strokes that actually strike the ground or uh, travel through the ground to your house can be anywhere from thousands of amps of surge to hundreds of thousands. Um, and where it goes on your property, where it hits your house, I've seen all kinds of things. I've seen lightning strike a house where it went just through the network and phone cables. I've seen people's houses get hit where it went through their gutter system on the roof. Um, it, it, it is, again, not to be uh, flippant, but it's God territory. It does what it wants at the end of the day, okay? Spikes. Spikes are a very quick, uh, just a rapid rise in current and voltage on your, your system, your grid in your house. And that can be caused by a number of things. It could be lightning, it could be the utility company. Um, a lot of times if you've had a power outage, you've been down for several hours, when the power comes back on, many times there'll be a spike because all you and all your neighbors are drawing power in and that's creating a huge uh, sucking effect on the grid and there's a surge and then a drop and so sometimes you'll have stuff get get uh, damaged there as well and finally a surge a surge is similar to a spike but it's much longer and it tends to be a lot less on voltage and amperage and so you'll have a surge uh, that can be caused uh, typically for instance a lot of times we'll go with this as a sag uh, summertime in a city where everybody and their mother is running their AC right well, all of a sudden, the, the, the voltage and everything else, the current available, it goes down. You'll have brownouts. When that load, if that load is released or uh, if there's an outage, you'll have the opposite. And you'll have a surge. It'll last for a while. Okay. So the surge protectors are supposed to protect against these types of things. And today, I want to go into you as a homeowner or as a contractor. How do you choose a surge protector? There are dozens of them out there. So. Uh, we're going to go to our next board and we're going to talk about that. And we're back. So we had a whiteboard change and here we go. So we talked about uh, our, our, some basic definitions and about uh, sources, lightning surges, spikes. But here's some basic terms. So hang on, don't glaze over. I already see you glazing over. Stop that. Here we go. You want to know this. You'll thank me later. So when you're looking at whole house surge protectors, you're, you're looking online, you're talking to a contractor, there's some terms that they should be using and you wanna know what they mean. So first of all is SCCR, short circuit current rating. What that is, that surge protector is how much, how much short circuit or how much uh, bad current in an event can it handle before it's gonna fail, okay? And a lot of these, you'll see they're at 10,000 amps, some are at 22,000 amps, etc. But that's important to know because if you live in a super compromised area as far as lightning, uh, if you live, for instance, in Texas where we're at, um, if this is a lower number, you want to move on. I'm not, you may not last because the goal is to install these babies and have them work for you for a long time. Surge amps, this is how much amps it's supposed to be able to uh, process through and either divert to ground or to block, okay? And some of these are lower, they're 22,000 all the way up, some of them up as high as 150,000 amps. Now, for you and me, that doesn't mean anything, but you think about it, your average blow dryer uses 10 or 11 amps. So magnify that, a lightning strike hitting your house or the ground 
150, 200,000 amps, the amount of current, the amount of power there is massive. Okay, so we'll circle around, again, sort of the God Clause. Some of the power and the, and the bad lightning strike, your surge protector, again, isn't necessarily going to do it. Uh, but again, it's better than nothing, and for the most of the average stuff that we experience in storms, it'll be just fine. Um, finally, warranty. This is sort of the business end of what we're talking about in terms of if the surge protector fails, what do you do? Okay. Um, so a couple things, like everything else that involves uh, a warranty, read the fine print. Read the fine print. Is it boring? Yes. Is it mind-numbing? Yes. Read it. Because if, you, if it turns out for that warranty or the really cool insurance packages that come with these, you have to do uh, a, a thousand steps and jump through a hundred hoops, you've got to think, well, is it worth it? Is this, again, weigh that out, okay? The question is, if it fails, what do I do? And real quick, big footnote, you need to understand that the vast majority of the surge protectors um, are not reusable. There's one we're gonna talk about that is, but most of them aren't. So here's what I mean. You'll have a surge protector with two green or red lights on it. You have a bad storm comes through, you survive, but you go back out and look at your panel and the lights are out. Okay, it did its job. It gave its life to protect your stereo equipment, all your stuff. Then what? Well, it has to be replaced. So I want you to realize, and a lot of times uh, electricians or contractors won't mention that, it's not a forever piece of equipment. It may last a long time, but if you get a bad enough surge or lightning strike through there, you're gonna have to replace it. Keep that in mind, okay? So what I wanna do on the next and the last whiteboard is talk about a couple of different surge protectors I have personal experience with. I've installed a bunch that I think gives you the best value for money and why. So we're gonna change up boards. Final board, I promise. So I've got two surge protectors that I recommend here, and I put the code book here to remind me of something. So the 2020 National Electrical Code, the change is gonna be in Article 230, then on new construction, new home builds, having a surge protector in the panel will be mandatory. So something to think about, if you have an old nasty Federal Pacific panel or Zinsco and you wanna upgrade it, make sure that the person who's doing that job for you includes a surge protector. Why not? They're already tearing that all apart. And on a new home, um, if in your jurisdiction um, they're adopting the 2020 on time, which not all places do, uh, that'll be mandatory, okay? So back on the point, and let's wrap this up for you. So the practical part is, hey, James, what are you know, two, just to start, two surge protectors that you recommend? And here's two of them. And they're very different, but they both have some great value. The first that I use all the time is the Cutler Hammer uh, CH Ultra. And there'll be a link uh, in the description below to go to on Amazon to look at that. Um, one quick note is you can buy both of these yourselves. And a lot of times I'll direct my clients to do that. It's the same product, why not? The only downside, whoever buys the product, whether it's you or your contractor, has to take care of the warranty. So just remember that, okay? Um, Color Hammer um, Ultra, uh, you'll see some images here shortly. Um, the short circuit current rating, 22,000, good rating. The surge rating, 108,000 amps. That's fantastic, okay? Um, the Ultra also has a limited lifetime warranty. In my book that we've installed and compared with um, other surge protectors for uh, value for money, um, it's probably one of the best purchases for a surge protector. It requires its own two pole 50 amp breaker. It'll be something like this, but a 50. Um, they're fairly simple to install. So the downside is the Ultra, like most surge protectors, if it takes a big enough hit, it's gonna require a pretty substantial one. Um, it has to be replaced, okay? You're gonna have to call the electrician back out. It won't be as nearly as big of a job, but it'll, you know, it has to be done. So the alternative I'm recommending is the Intermatic, the Smart Guard. The Smart Guard doesn't have nearly as impressive specs on the surge. Okay, the SECR, 10,000 amps, the surge, I believe is 10. The cool part about the Smart Guard is um, that you as the homeowner can replace the modules. 
And we have a lot of clients who really like that. They buy it on Amazon, we install it for them. It also takes a two pole 30. But the cool part is, let's say you get a big storm or strike surge, you can go out there, you'll see the light off. You simply pull the cartridge out, you will have purchased extra ones ahead of time. You plug that back in and you're done, no electrician. So uh, the smart guard's a little bit more expensive on the front end just as a part, but it's a super cool idea that the homeowner can take care of their own equipment if something happens, instead of having to call an electrician back out. So these are the two that we use the most often. There are literally at least a dozen other uh, mainstream surge protectors. Uh, like I said, value for money on um, performance and specs, I would say the, the CH Ultra by Color Hammer. Um, if you want something that's uh, a little lower on the specs, but however, it gives you a lot of independence as the homeowner, the Smart Guard, there's not really anything else like that. There's a couple other commercial products, but for you and I as homeowners, the Smart Guard's really gonna be your best choice for that. So please uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and we will see you next time.